Hello everyone. Hello everyone. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. I was uh, in Cool Spring. Today is December of 2023. Back in June, I was at Cool Spring and overheard some guys talking about if you could run an igniter engine on a Model T coil. And I'd always been with the, the traditional Model T coils or high tension, run them with a spark plug, and you got to run a low tension coil, um, a low tension engine, a low tension igniter with a, with a uh, low tension coil. And um, so I got to pondering on that. When I was in Portland in August, I was talking to the world famous Shop Dog Sam. If you haven't checked out his channel on YouTube, check out Shop Dog Sam on YouTube. Talking with that because he had made some videos of rewinding coils. And uh, we got to talking about it. And I said, you know, when I get home, I'm going to try it. And now it's December, so I'm here in the shop and we're going to try it. So what I've done was I got an old Model T coil. There's the remnants of it that was um, that the meter showed was a good coil. Uh, the condenser was bad, so and I took it all apart, pulled the coil out, and got it over here and rigged this up. Um, what I did is went from the battery to ground on the uh, igniter here. And then I went from the hot out of the battery into the winding, and then out back around to the igniter and um i had these little plastic bushings i just i just set them up on there and um let's try it and see i put this wedge in there because when you, this igniter is um is closed it, it's a make and break so i put the wedge in there just to stop the circuit so what I'm going to attempt to do is hold the camera, pull this wedge out, and see if we can get a spark. Okay. Let me turn this light off real quick. See if that helps. See if that helps us get a spark or not. So I'm just going to manually trip it. I hope you guys can see that. So, um, looks like you can get a spark out of a an old Model T coil, just using the coil, the windings there. Um, but there's there's two two things that go along with that. If if you're going to try to use that and you have make and break points. Um, you, you, I can actually feel a little bit of warmth in that coil, so it's gonna it's gonna suck down your battery pretty good. So you need to find some kind of a spark saver, or if your engine has a spark saver on it. Um, but I think the other thing is it just doesn't produce a very big spark. Let's see if I can get in a little bit closer. It's not that traditional blue. See, the I think the coil is getting hot now, and it just it just doesn't produce a whole. Yeah, I'm back touching it, and it's it's pretty warm. Um, so will it work? Yeah, M maybe not. I don't think so. I don't know that I would go to the trouble hooking everything up. And um, let me disconnect this real quick. I can feel these wires are just this hot, but that coils that coils pretty hot. Uh, this is a six volt battery, so um, I'm still kind of learning about coil windings, but I think the problem is there's from what I've learned so far, I don't think there's enough windings in a Model T coil um, to keep an igniter 
igniter fired engine, you know, running for a long time. And I question whether it would produce the spark or not. So anyway, um, that's it. I just want to share that with the world. If you tried it before and it works and you got an igniter engine to run on them off a of model T coil, uh, leave us some, leave a, leave a thing in the comments and let us know how you did it. But, um, that's how I set it up just to test it and it produced a spark, whether it produced a spark hot enough to, um, make an engine run. I don't know. Um, and also, you know, the coil is getting pretty hot. So, um, you know, if you had a spark saver on there, that would keep it from getting hot and draining it down. But I still question whether it would produce enough. I don't know if amperage is the right word, but enough spark to, uh, to, to ignite it. Okay. Thank you, everybody.